it's what this is here. Now, to them we'll be talking about some statements in the sea, in the media, coming from the MP for St. Catherine Central, Olivia Bobsey Grange. I'm going to tell you exactly what she said, I'm going to tell you why I scratch my head. I'm also going to be giving you an update on the Klansman trial because again, you know in no case submissions are going in and we're here some of the reasons um, why certain things are get thrown. You're not going to believe this. We could start with Olivia Bobsey Grange. You see now the Gleaner? You can go check it out for yourself. The title of the article is MP Grange Response to Reports One Other Gang Behind Spanish Stone Violence. Listen to this. Member of Parliament for St. Catherine Central, Oliver Bobsey Grange, says she has not heard any reports from communities in her constituency suggesting that the one other gang is behind the latest upsurge of violence in Spanish Town. Bobsey Green says she not hear nothing about no one other that causing a problem. The article go on to quote Bobsey Green again. This time she says, I am not involved in any gang so I can't tell you if it's a breakaway faction from a gang. She said when questioned on the matter. That is an extraordinary response. That is, I mean, me used to it by now because I Jamaica we are talking about. But the MP, their constituency, the political leader, their constituency, when asked about one other and breakaway factions, internal feuds, her response is. I am not involved in any gang, so I can't tell you why would Olivia Bobsey Grange even need to mention about it. I am not involved in any gang. No, of course, you know, some of you are going to school, can't read and write too well. So maybe somebody who is far more educated can explain to me. Does somebody need to be involved in a gang to hear or know about gang having some kind of internal feud? This response is mind blowing. I am not involved in any gang. Why would the minister need to even preface that? I mean, imagine a governor for a US state. I get asked. We heard that there was a mass shooter right, who took out about 20 people and is mentally ill. What do you have to say on that? Well, many mentally ill and me and the mass shooter, so I don't know. This is incredible. She went on to state, Once there are incidents that are connected to communities that are in strong support of the JLP, then elements that are involved are labeled one hour. It always comes back to politics. It goes on to state, But what I can tell you, I haven't heard the name one other called in the communities around for a long time. They have been focused on how they can improve their lives. I don't know if I truly me can't read and write so well. Maybe I'm not going to the words them good. Maybe somebody who can actually read can help me. Let's see what I'm going to She goes on to state, A section of the constituency was attacked. And once that happens, then the situation gets tense. Working closely with the police, I have tried my best to ensure that there is no reprisal. Let me tell you, why Jamaicans? are turning up to the polls less and less. When you look on Jamaica's voter turnout, for the last three or four elections, it was hovering about the 50% mark. The one before the last one was 47%, and the last one was 37%. Then they claim, say, a big C, why so low? But when I looked at other countries that had elections, during the same Big C and these countries had far greater crisis than Jamaica for Big C, I saw very high voter turnouts. For example, Uncle Sam Place also had election in the height of Big C and it was close to 70%. Nobody who won vote in the election now was stay in the yard because of the Big C. People were partying, people were doing all kinds of things right through the Big C. You know, start nobody from vote. When you look at the facts, Jamaica's voter turnout has been dropping year after year, or should I say election after election. 
what politicians fail to realize, or maybe them know and just don't care, is that the average citizen has completely lost faith in them. I'm going to talk about all 63 in the house. I'm talking about all the senators, both parties. I'm talking about the justice system, from prosecution to defense to ever the security forces, the average Jamaican has lost faith. In, let's just sum it up as the system. They've lost faith in the system. They don't even care to turn up a vote. All across Jamaica, these gangs that have grown to become monstrous to the point where them quote unquote run certain place. When people, I expect to hear some words that sound like there's going to be a dismantling of these gangs. And instead, they might hear words or something like say, gangs don't even, they bought no more. People say, you see, that's why men of business bought them and them system. Whenever MPs talk, especially the one them who govern quote unquote bad man place, them sound like a mother who are talking about our 87 son. It's like no matter how hard them try, them can't bring themselves to just say what it really is. Them talk about it like, I mean, you sure him that bad? Alright, what do you say? What do you mean? You hear him commit three murders? Who said that? I don't hear that, you know. Nobody don't tell me that. But, ma'am, your son is bigger crime. Yes, but nobody don't tell me that. Nobody don't tell me, say. My son has shot nobody, so I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, is this what they call plausible deniability? You see, many politicians interpret a safe seat as I'm doing a great job. When in reality, it's just a minority of people who are very loyal to them party and just keep turning up over and over. Most people stay at them yard, that's a fact. They don't even make the journey. The average Jamaican has lost faith in the system. Further on in the article, it says, Meanwhile, Granger started her social intervention programs in the communities. Yes, social intervention. Clearly that has been working out so well. All these mass murderers who were just walking around in the community, still have them gun, right? still free for do them want to. Then they are cool. Now them hot. And you see what happened when time them get hot? Broad daylight. In front of everybody. Rounds of fire off. Wild wild St. Catherine. One time, one other, a war in a Spanish town, and we can't even get politicians to come out and say, Yes, the one other gang is currently involved in our war and we're going to do everything we can to try and destroy it. They don't even care enough to sell that unicorn. Now let's move to the other major gang in Spanish Town, Clansman. As you know, a faction of the gang is on trial right now. Or at least what remains of it. Majority of them was the case already. You heard the testimony that the witness C4 collect illegal weapon from the gang and carry it directly to the police. This is while he was working with CTAC. And everybody was saying this is extraordinary because you just don't hear about them things then. I want thing for somebody tip off the police. But for CTAC and C4 disguised as uncle go in a community, get gun, get shot and then straight to the police. These type of things were unprecedented at least in the public space. We never hear about them things yet. Well, the judge just threw out that gun. Nobody can get charged for that. You know why? A technicality. The police them never label the gun properly. The judge said because the gun wasn't labeled properly, them can't say and the same gun where C4 take up is being presented as evidence, even though C4 them identified the gun. For them words, I mean nothing. It wasn't labeled properly, it wasn't tagged up properly, therefore it's been thrown out. That story, the one that was so fascinating, for you say, them gone pan undercover ops, take gun and care, cut and the police right away. All of that gone out the window now because that gun is thrown out. It's not anymore use in my quarters. No more use not the case. Nobody will be getting charged for that gun. That entire operation was a waste. No, we don't even know where to start this up. 
Some of these things sound so elementary, that's. I have to wonder if we are living in some kind of alternate universe where everything is just a giant circus. I mean, this is the most Jamaican thing I've ever heard. The hard things, that is what them pull off. But the easy things never get done. So, working with C4 and CTAC, going in a community, disguised as relatives, right, risking life, that is the that is the hard part. That is the part where the other things say, you know, very unlikely to get done. Then pull that off. But then the easy part, which will stick some labels and some tags for one gun, never get done. You get that shot. All of it was two ways. Iron man. But in the done they saw. Martin listen to this clip from CVM. Because Martin hear it from himself. Another technicality. This one surrounds extortion. Now as me say, this is credit to CVM. I cut up parts of the clip because I don't want it to be an exact match because I know YouTube thinks they already. Right. But I just want to hear this. Check this out. Technicalities in legislation threatens to foil the prosecution's case in the Klansman gang trial. Continuing their responses to the no case to answer submissions, the prosecution again tried to prove that there was a case against Donovan McKenzie. McKenzie allegedly collected extortion money from taxi drivers and vendors in Spanish Town for the gang. Though both witnesses testified that money was collected, Chief Justice Brian Sykes asked if they witnessed the collection. He clarified that there is a difference between an eyewitness testimony and an understanding of a certain happening, as understanding is not supported by law. Now, as I told you before, any expectation do not have for this trial, Lloyd. Donovan McKenzie getting found guilty for extortion was one of the things them that me the think was so set in stone that I never even bother thought about it. Right now, that is in jeopardy. That is about to get thrown out. Only hear the reason? The judge asked the question, did you see him collect the extortion? Even though you have an understanding of something that take place, that is not law. When you see how technicalities and make all of the man them work, Jamaica's Laws are not modern, they are not equipped to deal with crime in this day and age. When these laws were being written, gangs were not walking around extorting business place. So there was hardly any need for fitting certain things to deal with it. But your favorite leaders who have now spent six decades sitting down in the House of Parliament Never bother to update the laws then. So now technicalities I make man a boss case left, right and centre. But think about it. Based on what the judge is saying, nobody can get found guilty for extortion then. Because if we have to see the money are going on one hand to the next, then how is somebody going to prove that in a court? I've always wondered how extortion is a rampant in a Jamaica. You know? How man does I start business place? I start eagle, I start vendor all over the place. And none of them now get locked up. It's so obvious. Obvious extortion I go on. People are talking about get extorted. So how come they can't build no case? It's because according to the law, you have to see the money and go from one hand to the next. And then even if you see that, you probably go here and say, Okay, but how do you know they're not giving it willingly? When you see, the standard is so high to prove extortion, criminals can hardly get convicted for it. If the banker, if the banker of a clansman, the person who the extortion money I go to, I go testify say that individual is the one who collect the money and then carry it come. And the judge I go say, all right, you may be the banker and are you the money I go to, but did you see when him collect the money from the taxi man and the money going on him on? Did you see that? Or you didn't? Well, throw it out. Nothing to see here. Not a technicality. They might build anti-gang legislation when there's so much loophole night for criminals jump through. Technicality after technicality. People always ask me. You talk about bigger crime and sci-fi and scat. And you say Scott have over 30 murders to him name. 
how can an individual have over 30 victims and never yet get convicted? Surely by the time they reach 4 or 5, their luck is going to run out. No, not in Jamaica. Even when time, them get all on and on charge. Even when time there's a witness. Even when time there's a gun. A technicality. Make the case boss. Incredible. I am learning as the case go along. So now we know. If you not see. The money I got in the man and. Even if you are the banker with the illegal money I come to. Even if you go testify say. I am the man who can like it and care come give me. It I get through it. That standard means that nobody will get convicted for extortion. Because if the banker who is a member of the gang can't get the conviction, how would a random civilian get it? How can a civilian testify and get no conviction? When the people them who know more than everybody else can't get it. The banker them must know who will collect the money. You must visually sit on the bus park and watch the money go in the hand. Wow, I man. Anyway, you trans squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, don't know. More like Ultra Squad, stay circling. Bless.